So you want to get a dog, but you don't have the room, you don't want to pick up the poo, and you just don't want to listen to the barking, then I have an alternative for you. What about a cat? Now you probably think I'm crazy saying that, but this cat retrieves, loves water, and you can even take it for a walk on the lead. Now Clara, what was that cat called? A Turkish van. It's a dog in a cat's body. How's it been owning a Turkish van? It's been actually wonderful fun because we have a yard where we can't have a dog and so our cat's a little bit like having a dog because the boys will play roughly with it and they roll around the floor with it and they get it to jump up and they just think it's the coolest thing around this cat. The cat actually went missing for a few days and the boys were distraught and they all helped in the search and they said oh you can't lose Mambo he's just so cool he's just like the filth cat and they just love him. Were you surprised when you brought your first Turkish van home at the Templeman? What amazed me the most was that how really playful they are. I've had lots of cats before, but Turks, I think, are in a class of their own. The kids love them. They're a lot of fun. They're, they're as much fun as a dog, in my opinion, especially since they fetch and chase and, and so on. But they're so dog-like, aren't they? They are, very, and they're affectionate. In very, very affectionate in spite of all that, that exuberance. This is remarkable. What I'm doing here is playing tug of war with a cat, and unfortunately, the cat's winning. This is a really strong animal. They are very muscular cats, great strength in the front paws. Being such a strong cat, they're not obviously the kind of cat that you're going to put with a small child. No, they're, they're just too strong. Their reflexes are incredibly quick mm. and they are well muscled and strong. So it's not a cat I would recommend for toddlers. And I just want to point out that I won. <laughs> I beat a cat. Isn't that big? <laughs> Or is this just a bit of a story? What they like to do really is play with water. So I have cats who drink out of the tap. Um, I've had kittens who actually step in and paddle in their water dishes. Um, Jack tends to try to catch drips. If you leave the tap on just very slightly, just stand there and catch the drips as they fall. You probably wonder why a breed of cat loves water so much. Well, originally, this breed came from an area in Turkey called Lake Van. And the story goes that they used to swim between the islands. Well, of course, you'd have to have a great love of water to do that, wouldn't you? I'm assuming that a lot of people that look at Turkish vans and they hear about this water business and that they like to swim would then buy one and maybe put in their swimming pool. Now, to me, that doesn't sound like the right thing to do. No. When I get inquiries from people and they say they want a swimming cat, I always take a great deal of time to explain to them that swimming cat has become a bit, I guess, of a, a marketing thing and that you don't expect them to swim and you certainly don't immerse them in the pool. <laughs> One of the things I have to say about the Turkish fans that have come into this clinic, their temperament has been wonderful. Great with children, so they really are a good child's pet. On top of that, there have been no kidney problems to talk of and no heart defects, so a very sound animal that's going to make a great family pet for you. So are they a Turkish delight? Yes, most of the time. <laughs> <laughs> when aren't they a Turkish delight? Well, like any semi-long head animal, they will shed a little bit of fur, particularly in spring and summer. So sticky rollers that you buy at the dry cleaners are an absolute boon. He seems to have brought a lot of happiness to your household. He has actually. Well, I mean, I, I'm a secondary teacher and some days I come home and I'm thinking, I, you know, help. And just to sit the cat on your lap and stroke it and talk to it, and yeah, it's a great stress relief. Yeah. If you have a stressful job, get yourself a Turkish van, that's for sure. 